not at my best. Through thick and thin, I'm not a fan of getting married, I'm not a fan of marriage, I think marriage is a complete faux pas and fake. <coughs> but I do find that part of the vows interesting, through thick and thin, and it applies to this situation through Liverpool. Liverpool are going through a tough period right now. Perhaps their toughest under club. Seeing your fortress, your home, go from Anfield to the field of Anne is very painful. Seeing your rivals test your jaw at your home ground is very painful. So this is a difficult time. But Klopp has earned the right for you to trust him through this. He simply has. Because we know what Liverpool were before Klopp. Before Klopp, okay, Champions League under Benitez. Um, in the most unlikely fashion. It is what, what it was, but it was there. We we'll, won't we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay. <laughs> so, that in the mo so, you look at what Klopp has done. A Champions League, a league title, um, with a crazy record number of points that Liverpool have achieved as a club in the Premier League. Um, what is done for specific players, specifically like someone like Isala, Alexander Arnold. Those were great times, those were amazing times, and people feared Liverpool. Liverpool were generally one of the best teams in Europe. Something that's haven't been said about Liverpool for decades. Decades! Before Klopp. When were Liverpool seen as yet? These are generally one of the most feared teams in Europe. It's a long time. Long time. <laughs> How long did Liverpool house a guy who you could argue is one of the world's best players in his position in Salah? Or even Van Dijk? So these are all the positives. But look, man. Things, time will struggle. And as of right now, domestically, Liverpool are struggling. They're struggling deeply. 2012, Chelsea were not really saying what's up in the league. Um, it wasn't really happening, it wasn't really popping off. And people were like, what the heck are these guys going to do? What are, what, are, what are these guys going to really do who are struggling in, in the um, Premier League? How can I barely even make top four? But we all know how that story ended. I've spoken to Klopp, you know, and um, we had a, dis a discussion because the conversation we had, and we, for some reason, we were on a, on a, on a beach, <laughs> and I don't want to reveal whatever this beach was, but I say it's a beach that's very, very far away, crazy beach, you know, there were some, um, there were some old, elderly, nude people walking around, they tried to shake my hand, I, um, repelled away and I said, if you come close to me, I will shoot you in the toe. So it was crazy. And I said to Klopp that, why do we have to be surrounded by around elderly, old, nude people? He said, ignore them, focus. I was like, okay, it's gonna be, it could be really hard, but I'll focus. So trying to ignore the unsightly scenery around me, let's focus on what Klopp was saying. And then Klopp talked to me and he said, you know, Half a page change. I built something and I don't. And he said that people still don't appreciate what I, I built and was taken away from me. He said that if what I built from scratch had not been violated by external forces, it would have been one of the great teams in Europe. I was like, you know, yes, 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 Formidable team. And he told me that there are haters out there that hated what I built, hated what we achieved, and don't want to give me credit for how I've taken certain players to the next level. That without me, these players will not sniff. And he said, you know what, the, the, domestically, things are tough. Things are tough right now. But he said that I need that seven 
seven. I said, what? He said, I need that seven. I need that seven. Because it says that we are ruling Europe. That the Premier League, that's done, that's small potatoes. I did that. So I so, said, so, so, okay, okay, hold on. So, so, okay, okay, we'll just hold on. I said, they'd never won the Premier League. I gave them that. That's now, now, now I'm done. Anything else is, is cool. But I said, we've already been Champions League finalists. We've won the Champions League. And there are many more to come. Because I know what this team's about. And I was like, but I said, but what about He said, when that theme gets played and the lights come on, these players, they will switch on. And I said, what has happened to them in the Premier League has been so painful, so hot. Specifically, what happened against Manchester Anfield? Now, this is the perfect thing they needed. That the players are angry. They're full of rage. Specifically, of people questioning them now. Calling Trent um, a side chick. A fraud. Questioning Salah's abilities. Ignoring everything that they've already done already. That's just because of the small, small blip. They are now totally turning a blind eye to all of the amazing things that they did for such a long period of, of our time. Is that this one's for the haters? It's like, what? What? So it's for the haters, the doubters, those that will take pleasure in our downfall. Because doctors, I am. I want. I want to remember those that are with me now. So, whoa, Jurgen, what the heck are you saying? He says, those that are with me at my lowest are those I will remember. But those who have given up on me right now, who have torn the wind, they are back on me, I know who they are. So when things get back on track, I don't want any of those who doubt me to now come back on the, on the train. Because once you're on the train, you stay on that train until it crashes. You don't just go off the train if it looks like it, it might crash. If it gets to the destination, hey. If it crashes, hey. But you remain on this train. It's like, oh, clock, man. I never... So you as a philosopher, you know, you've got interesting teeth, see a dentist, and so forth, to straighten them like fair and feminos. But never saw you as a philosopher. But it was hanging on for me. So as I, as I walked around, very quickly away from the weird nudists that were around me, who were trying to chase me, but then I had a um, samurai sword to pull my with. I was just walking, I was like, oh my God. This has stumped me. This, this, my, 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 my mind was a maze. You know, my mind was a maze. And then I then got onto um, my hoverboard from Back to the Future 2. I was, I was hovering around. So you just saw this sexy Nigerian guy just hovering around on his, on his hoverboard. You know? Like so. And I was to myself that, hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. He really really feels the hate and the haters and those that have sort of given up on him, those that are abusing him, those that were with him and now based on this thing have abused him. And that's why I started this whole video by saying, love me when I'm down. Love me when things are going well. At my lowest, at my worst, love me. Appreciate me. Appreciate me at my lowest. The champ, the, the champions is a, it's, it's it's a it's a funny competition. It's a very funny competition, and it's a competition that doesn't follow suit. The greatest Champions League final of all time. We know what it is. We know what it is. It is one of the craziest football matches of all time. All time. And it was a where were you moment. What happened in Istanbul is a literal example of, of that miracles exist. If anybody says, oh, do miracles exist? Yes, they do. And I'll show them in 2005. That was, it's not about, oh, not to be sure. That was a miracle. Do you hear what? You do hear what? 
That was a miracle. And Liverpool have to realize that with all due respect to the Premier League and so forth, this is the big one. The reason why I have to respect Liverpool is because of the six they have. The six seals, European Cups, but the seals they have, you could respect that. Two seals. Six European Cups in, in total. That, so I've got to re re respect it because that is what takes you a big club. It's not about your the Premier League. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's small potatoes. This is the big boy trophy. This is where it counts. This is where you say what up. Which is why United can't say much to, to Liverpool. They can't, they can't say a lot. Because Liverpool have more of these big boys than United have. And for the pain domestically of how they have, what it looks like, failed to defend their tights. Not over yet. It ain't over yet. It's not over yet. But it looks as if this is going to be an unsuccessful defense of their, of their, of their domestic crown. You look and see so that the best way to answer this is if they can win this trophy. And, and I'm going to tell you guys this. Don't count on Liverpool because of what's happening in the Premier League. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Because, if anything, Liverpool cannot wait to get into that Champions League pitch. Because this players are like, man, we need just something totally different from the Premier League, what's it called, Southampton, Scone. We just need, we, we need the Bradley's. We need Champions. Some, because that is what just... Because when that music comes on and it's that logo, something switches in the brain of the football player because you're like, okay, this is big boy. This is, this is money time. This is money time. And it, it ain't, it, it gets no bigger than the CL. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Shout out to the Syria, Bundesliga, La Liga thingy. It gets no bigger than the Champions because that's what ends you my respect. That's what ends in my respect is what you do in a seal. I need those seals. I need those seals. I need them. I'm sorry. I need them. I'm a seal maker. I'm a seal maker. I'm not. I'm, I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't bet against Liverpool. I can't do it. I can't do it. Which is why I can't wait for things to, to pop off. Can't wait for things to pop off because I just, because I feel, <clears throat> well, there's going to be a response. Now, maybe this bad form is real. Maybe they've run out of gas. Maybe this whole thing is finished and maybe Klopp doesn't have a plan. So maybe Klopp really generally doesn't have an alternative plan. This, that's going to all be true. That can all be true. But this is the Champions League. And the stage, the magnitude of the stage that is the Champions League can perhaps open up something in these Liverpool players that they've been missing for the past few weeks or months. And perhaps the Liverpool that we do know could finally reveal itself in the CL. All I'm saying is, do you really want to bank against this team? And while they are down, do you really want to underestimate them and kick them in the head and turn your back? Stab me. What I'm saying, stab me in the gut. Don't stab me in the back when I turn around. If I win this Champions League, will you officially put me ahead of Jose Mourinho? Becoming a Patreon member. Gain access to my blog. Get access to exclusive videos and also get access to the podcast of the Saturday and the Sunday Hangouts. Head over to patreon.com forward slash half up to gain all these goodies while also supporting your boy HH.